Welcome to Tarot Q&A Tuesday. It's a very crazy rainy day again in New Zealand here. It's pretty much widespread, right? I've got a question for you though. I'm just wondering, when you talk about the weather as we accidentally all do at times, do you complain about it and label it as terrible or horrific or something that has an opinion about it not being perfect. Because of course, I always align the weather with our emotions. I do the same with the ocean. I feel you see all seasons, all types of personalities, all emotions and feelings that we all experience. And unless we're getting extreme and really putting our emotions into other people and affecting other people in untoward manners, then, I believe that we ought to experience all our feelings and emotions. Could we talk about the weather as just as it is? Like say, I'm feeling really sad or I'm feeling a little bit angry at the moment. It's rising within me. And just like the weather, it's pretty rainy out there. It's a bit of a storm. Oh, look at the sun. Isn't it bright and beautiful? Just a question, just a thought about how we label things that are not going perfect for us, even though we all need to experience the seasons for the flow of humanity, all of the cycles that we go through with life. Don't ask me where this came from. I'm just accidentally raving. It's good to have you here, girls. All girls, no boys yet. So today, welcome back to Tarot Q&A Tuesday. We'll be answering some questions that have been sent in earlier today. And we'll also be pulling a card for all of you. As you know, we do a collective consciousness reading, which means there's no coincidence if you're watching this, a random who has never come across me before on YouTube. This card is going to be for you and everyone else that happened to tune in to this episode. Now, if you want to ask a question, please type it in the YouTube com comments or you can email me at fiona at sirensoul.com. Now, let's begin, let's begin. Who is the lucky first person? I'm going to do two readings, then I'm gonna do the collective reading, and then we'll continue. Lisa, if you'd like to ask a question live, you're welcome to do so. If you are going to speak live, you'll be third in line. That will be straight after the collective consciousness reading. Let's dive in to Sarah. After watching last week's Tarot Q&A Tuesday, my words for my new year are, change and growth. We love this because we're all about that in the tarot, right? And in the other work I do. And although life is good at the moment, there are a few areas in my life I'd benefit from seeing some change in. Going forward, which areas should I focus on? First, to action this growth, please. All right, let's just call that in as a which area is the most ideal for me to put my attention into in order to gain higher fulfillment? Best for my soul's journey. Let's talk about that. Sarah. Sarah. All right. We're just going to tune into the cards, get the vibe for Sarah. We want one card, hopefully, to give the overall Expecting area of life. <laughs> well, funnily enough, this may not be what you're expecting. This beautiful card is that of celebration of being social with friends, often girlfriends, like really getting into that beautiful feminine essence of fun, laughter, receptivity, positivity, and just having a dance, having a good time. I think a lot of the times we just focus too much on productivity and where my growth is. Yet when we have more fun and laughter in our lives, we actually bring ourselves literally alive and we start radiating our beautiful inner light. So I'm just going to call it there and say, you know what, maybe just make friendships more of a priority. Connection with other people and in particular females. There you go, Sarah. That's the message for the day. Who would have thought it's not all about being productive in the game of the human life? Sometimes we're just allowed to let our soul sing out loud and shine our beautiful light. All right, let's go to Carmen. May I ask, what do I need to hear right now? Similar question, not quite the same. There's quite a lot of this going on at the moment. Quite a lot of people asking where to go in this new year. 
It is interesting. And I said something like, <laughs> Happy New Year to one of the people that I see often, just a, a service that I, that I use. <laughs> and the woman says, It's just a number. And I was like, Yeah, it is, but it's a number. <laughs> you know, like numbers are a thing, right? In my world, she has no idea. You see, the thing is, we really do get a fresh start of energy when you move into the new year. I mean, we feel it, right? We're at the end of the year. We're like hedging into Christmas. We're like weighing ourselves down. I'm going to get to the other side and then I'm going <gasps> to breathe again. That's what we do. We literally have this, I'm going to be okay once I'm past this moment in time. These are things we tell ourselves. There is some reality to the energy of those days, but there's also... There is also a, a truth to we get to choose how we feel in those moments. And at any point in time, we can actually relax into the stressful moments. Believe it or not, I know it's not as easy as it sounds, or as we can say. Oh, look at all you girls here today. So nice. No, I did say we're going straight to the collective conscious, didn't I? The collective consciousness card. What do we all need to hear right now? Is this for, what's the topic we're needing to hear? The week, the month. Let's make this January's edition of Tarot Q&A Tuesday for everyone that happens to pop on here online today. I want it to be big. We need some deep inspiration. Okay guys and girls. And all the people in between. Well, it's cute. It's cute. It's very cute. It's the page of wands. Let's talk about this character. We possibly could embrace this character more within ourselves. The wands are always about passion and creativity. The page always represents a child or an immature person. <laughs> hey, same thing, right? Although, tapping into our childlike sense of wonder and awe is always a way we get that excitement inside us, that fun and laughter that we talked about for Sarah, right? So in this card, often there is an initiation of new passion, new vibrancy, fire inside. This can also indicate a new relationship. So boosting up, turning up the nozzle, turning up the volume on your sexy time in your relationship. So I'm going to say, if you're in a relationship, let's talk about relationship. Add that spice of life. Stir up any goodness in the intimacy department. If you're not in a relationship, I suggest you stir up that second chakra. Do you know much about chakras? They're the different energy centers in our body. We've got loads of energy centers. These are the, the top seven that the world commonly talks about more these days. The second chakra is all around the area of your lower stomach, where your womb would be if you're a woman. And that area is about creation, because <clears throat> that's where babies are made, right? It's also about those more man and woman areas so we're going to focus on that area and stimulate our creativity our passion do stuff that actually gives us a playful sense of manifestation of making something out of nothing changing things around exploring a more whimsical side of yourself there you go, everyone. That's the Collective Consciousness card. If you'd like to know more about that and you want to take your own reading, you can always just Google the cards. Whilst they don't tell you everything and they don't give you the in intuitive insight that I grasp when I read tarot, they still give you some understanding of the symbolism. And you can start to tap in and appreciate that the tarot has been around for thousands of years. And the wisdom that we share in the tarot is only just becoming mainstream knowledge now. It's pretty crazy, right? Like I made this YouTube video the other day, simply being on the bandwagon about how Joseph Campbell stole a little bit of an intense way of putting it, the fool's journey and labeled it the hero's journey. 
Check out my YouTube channel and find that video. It's only six minutes long and you might be surprised. You might learn something and you can also subscribe to that channel if you haven't already because I totally appreciate the support and I'm sure you appreciate the wisdom. Okay, who have I missed out on here? Let's see. Have any of you asking questions? Michelle. Yes, thank you. Nice that you're here and feeling a bit better. Let's call in your question right now. You've sent an earlier Michelle. Although there is possibly a reconnection coming from my ex, this could be something she needs a clarity on, but she's also open to just needing to know what she hears right now. Because What she hears, is that English? What she needs to hear, what the universe would like her to pick up and put down, or any general card. She's like, I'm totally happy at the moment, just curious and then she goes on to say thanks again for all your queendom wisdom see you soon how nice is that i love it love the queendom vibe very much so with all that rave on i'm going to forget what i'm asking now aren't i let's talk about the relationship michelle because we love love we love love is this coming to something positive is this oh, what is positive do you uh michelle Michelle, we just want to know, just going to card the feel into the vibe of the reconnection with you and this history, this time in history. Oh, I'm a bit scared. Oh, Michelle, Michelle, oh my God, we got the same card. Look, and what did I say? Start of reconnecting intimacy. Mm. So this could be a very interesting way of approaching this, a little bit different to where you left off, perhaps. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Very intriguing. Is there anything else Michelle needs to hear right now? Not at this time, but if I get something else coming through before the end of this session, I'll definitely go back to you. We're just going to run along and tap into Jess's card because she's turned up. Hi, Jess. A random card. A random card. Now, you guys, it's time to get a little more creative with your questions. Not that I mind. Hello, Steve. I don't even know which Steve this is. This is a surprise. Great to have you here. And we'll all go on mute if you don't mind. Okay. This is for Jessica. Jessica. Random card. It's your last random card for this month, Jessica. You're going to get creative with your questions and start putting out your questions to deepen your intentions that you'll be setting on the 22nd of this month on the new moon. Guys, be ready. I have this blimmin' cool free gift coming to you before the new moon. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is. can't resist. It's a, a free new moon intention setting kit okay i've made it so beautiful i'm going to give it to you for free i'm going to send it to you and you can download it and then you'll learn all about how to start manifesting more of what you want in the most beautiful holistic manner then when you ask your questions to the tarot you will have some depth and you'll be coming from a an existing place of wisdom already Jessica, this question, this card, this card for this question. Is this the card for Jessica? Hmm. It's all about the childhood sense of wonder at the moment, isn't it? This card is the page version of the swords. Now he, the way I describe this guy, this potential girl as well, it's an either either, has more masculine energy because it's about the thoughts and thoughts and logic are all very masculine energy as we talked about yesterday in the cosmic consulting class now the page of swords is like this little kid with a sword whoa it's pretty dangerous you don't want to get in the way not in a terrible way more in a chaotic way so what it means is time to get grounded so if you're taking advice from the card it would be Get your feet in the sand, barefoot, or do some meditation. There potentially could be a lot of ideas going on in your head instead of just being fully present and feeling the peace in your heart. 
Now, whilst these ideas are fantastic if you're having spontaneous inspirations, write them down. Get them out of your head into your journal, and that way you can then also transform them into your intentions, i.e. meaningful, heartfelt goals. So these are clues, but get them out of your head, put them on paper, and go back to your grounded space. That is your random card for January. Coolness. All right. Anna, you love that. We haven't got to your question yet. It's good that you love something, though. Love, love. Anna, Anna C, this is, not Anna H. I think it's time for a change and to sell my house and have a fresh start in a new place. Can you please ask my guides if that's the right path? Now the first thing I'm going to point out here, Anna, and it's not specifically to you, but the reason I'm doing it is because it's relevant to how we roll as humans. Listen to this. I think it's time for a change. I think it's time for a change. Just like Jessica, ideas, 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 think, 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 up, up, up here in the mind. <sighs> okay, let's get into the feeling. Do you feel it's time for a change? Do you feel? Can you draw your energy down into your heart and ask yourself that question? Of course we're going to help you today because that's the fun of the Tarot Q&A Tuesday. In saying that, the question is, so we're going to ask, shall you move, shall you stay put? Is it correct action to stay? I'm going to ask it, in, is it correct action to stay as you are in your home environment? Well, first we'll begin with that and then we'll move into any additional information that we need. Anna, Anna, okay. Is it correct action to stay in your humble abode? Do you know what? It actually is. I have got the King of Pentacles. What I want you to feel into this card is that he is sitting pretty. He is setting himself up. He is creating this environment where he is the, in your case, you can see this as your queendom. He is totally content, just giving orders now. What I'd like to see you do, and you can do whatever you like, this is just the moment in time. This is the energy that we're working with today. Something can happen spontaneously caused by other people's free will tomorrow, the next day, next month, any time, which may change the ideal for any of us. But right now, I feel that you need to create your own palace within what you have. And there's another area of focus to be working on. This is interesting. So we've got that card there. So we just want to see... Give us more information. If I get this same card, okay. I feel it's a time for a change in the career department. Not change of career, something about your line of work, the stuff that gives you money. Just feels like there needs to be a new initiation within your workspace. Is there a new client you could pick up or is there, and potentially keeping old contracts? Is that a thing for your world? And yeah, just start plotting away at some new ambitions, a new angle. And this is, so the King of Pentacles is actually about making more money. Well, it's not about that. This is the feeling I'm getting for you. Feeling, right? Feeling, not thought. Therefore, I'd say stay put for a little bit longer just to focus on increasing. It's not about the money. It's about expansion. It's about abundance. It's about receiving. It's about being worthy, feeling valuable, feeling into the energy of self-worth, the value within your your offerings, what you're here serving the world with. And then, soon, six months away, ask me this question again, or feel into yourself and see where you're at then. I'm not saying don't move soonish, not yet. Just 
get a few more things on the go and know your value, know you are a priority in the line of work you do. Okay, woo, big one. Ha, she says, I was called about an interview for a new job on Monday. Wow, sometimes I even amaze myself. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Beautiful. Right, we've seen the lovely Lisa has turned up. It's a shame that no one has their cameras on today. It's a bunch of labels, a bunch of names. You do know it's nice to talk to faces. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see your face. Where are you? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a dream come true, isn't it? Where are you? Um, all right. It's very light, it's very calm. Yeah. Yeah, strange for Wellington. <laughs> beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's dark here now. Okay, thanks for being here, Anna. It's so good to see you. And we're going to whip to Lisa. Lisa, am I going to have a win soon? Are you? A win. A good thing happened, I guess that means. <sighs> Lisa deserves a win. Do you know what? I made this video today. It was on the back end of some text messages from... A kind of client who's struggling a bit life's been a bit crap so I made this video and it's called the two personal personal personality two personality shifts you need to make when life is feeling rather crap that's pretty much what it's called I haven't actually put it online I probably will do that later tonight or tomorrow morning and the two shifts, most of you know a little bit about these two shifts. Just watch it, it's only three minutes long. It's not gonna be taking much time out of your busy day. Lisa, is it in the energy that you've got right now that you're likely to have a win or do you need to amp up your energy? Is there likely to be a win in your life soon? <laughs> We're getting some severe answers here. This is a beautiful magician. Now everyone that was on Tarot Q&A, not Tarot Q&A Tuesday, Cosmic Consulting, everyone that was there last night, this was the topic. We unpacked this tarot card. That might sound like a bit of a crazy thing for the average person to hear that that's what the topic was about. This is the second card in the deck. Number one, zero is the first one. This is the magician. You are magic and it's time to learn why you're magic and how to use your magic, Lisey Lou. So therefore, you're gonna love this free thing that I'm sending out to you about how to set intentions on the new moon because even though I've done this with you before, I believe we did that in person once. This is a reminder of how to, how to clear the pathway You've got to be clear on what you want, right? We've got to, people don't even know how they want to feel. Do you know, I had this client in just before I did this, doing this class today, and we did a load of energetic healing shifts around how she felt about herself, how she feels about love, how she feels, what she dreams of the feeling that she wants when she finds her passion in life, her purpose, that sense of achievement. We did so much. It was a very jam-packed 90-minute session. And the reality is, we just talked about the obvious, which is how many people in this world do you know that have set goals for making money, for career moves, for achieving the material success, for buying a house by this date, for the six month plan, the 12 month plan, the two year plan, the five year, oh my giddy aunt. What about adventure and fun in life? You can actually achieve it all an easier way if you get in the flow rather than pushing against the hard stuff. So the point of, the, of that message was not that many people set goals on how they want to feel, do they? And that's what the intentions are all about. And the intentions still do manifest the material things, I might add. Just you have fun along the way. You're on the Love Bridge, which is another video you can watch on my YouTube channel. The Love Bridge, Google that one. Pretty good tips, guys. Pretty good tips. Oh, my goody aunt. What am I up to? Lisa, the answer is yes. The yes. 
However, or a big but, you must write your intentions and refocus your attention. What wins do you want is the question. I'm going to pull you one more card, Lisa. We haven't seen you for a while. I want to pull you one more card about helping you to get clear on what the focus... <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of double whammies today. A lot of energy that we're all oozing the same kind of vibe with the group we've got here. This is the same as Sarah's card. Friendships. That's the win we need to focus on. Connection. Fun times. Not so much all the wine drinking, but that can come with it as well. But ways of putting it out to the universe. Where should I go? Where should I go? Who do you need me to help? How can I serve others in this world? Where is my next step to be placed and then kick back and do something nice for yourself and wait for a random thought in the middle of nowhere ah <sighs> let's see steve wouldn't want to scare you <laughs> if you want to want a question what should i do with a new business opportunity okay now steve 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 is this Steve as in PT Steve? <sighs> what should I do with a new business opportunity? Have you got a new business opportunity or are you looking for one? So good to have you here. It's really fun. First time caller. First time caller, Steve-o. You have one. What do you do about the new business opportunity? I'm so glad you came for this. Okay. Big questions. Oh, you need to see it, look at it from a different point of view. Something you need to consider. Turn the process upside down. I believe that it's, it could be something that you work your way up and you could really enjoy it. My feeling is mostly positive about it. I feel there's growth within this opportunity. So it might start small, but it does have potential. There you go. Heard you're the best. <laughs> Heard you're the best. Yeah. Well, some can say that. Thank you. Exactly what I expected, he says. Well, high five, guys. High five. I like it. What he wanted to hear. Oh, so cool. So nice. Right, Linda, you've been waiting patiently. Let's zoom in. I know you've sent me one in, haven't you? Linda, have you? Have you? Have you? You have. Linda. Linda. What is the correct action for me at the moment with my home? Airbnb or sell? I'm torn, actually, as I need the income, but I want to do what's best. Do I go short-term gain or long-term prosperity? Mm -mm -mm. Let's just look at the situation. Clearly, <sighs> Linda, is it free to sell him? Do you know what I feel, Linda? This is not necessarily the most um, <clears throat> desirable outcome. However, it feel I'm just going to double check it before I let you know on the goods. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay. No. The thing is, it's it's kind of feels like neither of these answers at this time. So. The first feeling I had was that you need to focus on your business and ramp up that. I actually got the king of pentacles about this. So it's more creating your empire. And then it felt like, this is the bit that didn't feel so good, that you needed to get a flatmate. Who wants that? 
who wants that, right? However, it felt, then I was like, oh, or could you rent your house out and go in a temporary zone in the meantime? It just didn't feel correct action to sell your house, uh, more that to lower your expenses and focusing on building your expenses in, uh, building your wealth in the business. Okay? Do you know where I'm, so, so just let me refill into that a little bit more. You're not nodding or anything there. Are you rolling your eyes or something at me? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it an option to rent your house? Just for like 12 months and go into a different living situation somewhere where you feel comforted it's about looking at things from a new perspective and like if you did go and live with say a friend I just want to see <laughs> yeah it is that person that you're thinking about too <laughs> but I want you to go into that could potential temporary home environment with your friend as with with intent like with a a conscious decision how the dynamics are going to be so you have a conscious chat about it rather than it just be oh, i'm just gonna do this in the meantime but like let's create an exciting year together let's like really look after each other and make this so that we can make each other's lives easier and just deepen the friendship friendship <laughs> whatever that means yeah it just feels a bit of a fear it, I just don't sell the house it feels just like a fear response to getting out of jail free and just no well you can do what you like don't not don't listen to me I'm just it's right now the energy says maybe not Airbnb just I mean you could do Airbnb for like a month or something but that's not going to serve you for the whole year, is it? Because you need more than a couple of weeks of Airbnb. Uh, double checking. Yeah, there's, there's a missing link to this. I feel... <sighs> hmm... I'm, I'm stuck there at this time. We can address, we can reassess this definitely next week. In the meantime, what do you do? Oh, dragging the chain on this one, aren't I, guys? Hurry along, Fifi, hurry along. In the meantime, do you do Airbnb for a couple of weeks to get a couple of grand? Mm. It's not coming on that positive. What I'm feeling, more, oh God, you just come up against rocks and hard places. It's a bit of a reset with the whole way you're looking at business and The best opportunity at this, the best the best direction at this time is to consider renting it out. However, I wouldn't rush into it. Let's just allow some extra information to be brought up, and maybe instigate a different angle for your business. So, whilst the home situation, if you just seek, if you just compartmentalize that, we could say rent your house out, pay less rent with your friend. But that's not really. That's just like a band aid effect. Really, you could be having more holistic comfort in your world if you just take a new branch for the way your business is rolling. Yes, it is a bit complex. So I think if I Airbnb it, it needs to be at least six months. Yeah, and I don't know if there's if that's a, if that's a thing that's going to be full time. Can't guarantee it. You can't guarantee it. It adds another stress to your life. 
I mean, it's, yeah, it's a bit topsy-turvy for your personal state as well. Hold the line, call. Hold the line, Linda. I just better ask, answer a few other questions, and then we'll come back to that. Did I ask, did I ask Carmen's? Have I been Carmen? Carmen. May I ask what I need to hear right now? Was she the second card? I can't even remember. We'll give her another message. We'll give her another message, just in case. Too many callers today. No, keep them coming, guys. Love having you here. Carmen. Carmen. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. This is a good one. This is instigating change. Let's make this about change. Let's, this is a destiny card. This is like, let me just get another card. This is all about, <laughs> mm. yeah. Be willing and open to change. Tap into your heart and access what is it that you are most wanting to call into your life if you are deeply honest from your heart. Not logically. I feel it's connection, a connection with a masculine energy. So what is blocking that, Carmen? Let me just tune into that. Is there a block for you really allowing the flow of this new love to come into your world? We all deserve love. The only reason some of us don't find that relationship is because we're not receiving it. We're not ready. We are, we've got a guard up or we are in the attitude about something. Limiting beliefs, those subconscious ideals. So in answer to your question, is there a block? Is that what I asked? This is a passionate man coming through. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Is she ready? Is she ready? Is she ready for a passionate love affair? Oh yes, yeah, she is. New job, new man. Let's make the year for that. This is what I'm vibing. Not because you need a man to be happy. Not because you need a job. Be happy. It is idea that your job is fulfilling, and it is idea that a relationship is satisfying. That are the goal. Those are the goals. This year, Carmen receives her passionate love affair with the ultimate soulmate connection, and starts this amazing new job where she feels valued and appreciated, and that she's living on purpose, and everything is meant to be. Some of the affirmations to think about, Carmen, for January the 22nd, the new moon. We're all going to gather together and write our new moon intentions. Where is Joni, says Lisa. Joni, come here. She had a haircut. It's looking all pretty. Come here, Bubba. Oh, shit. No, not happening today. Uh, she had a beautiful pink bow in her hair, which she ensured that she rubbed her head all over the carpet to get rid of. Because... It's not cool, a pink bow apparently. Okie doke. Are you guys still with me? We're just still going here. I've got Naomi. Should I be taking an alternative route in my business to increase sales? Or is it best to stick with the current plan and give it some time to start gaining traction? Hey, well, isn't this a question that a few of you on here would like to know the answer to? Naomi. Let's just feel into that, Naomi. Is it correct? Actually, can I safe and appropriate to read for Naomi about her business? She wants to know, is she needing to be patient or is there something missing? That's kind of what she asked in not so many words. The question we're going to be specific about is, new what is missing? What new direction should she put her focus into? <laughs> wow. Okay. Unique. Let me get another card. Huh. Well, mm, not what we were kind of expecting. But, you know, we've got this card three times today. 
three times. This is the Three of Cups, which is a bunch of ladies drinking wine. <laughs> it's actually what the card looks like. There is a lot going on in here. This is about blending your radiant self with your passion and desires and tuning into your inner wisdom as well. As you would have learnt last night in Cosmic Consulting, the colours of the tarot do reflect various different aspects of our humanness. But I pulled the world card with it. This tells me you need to be more social, look at yourself out in the world, and perhaps that would look a little bit like networking. Oh my gosh, I know that that probably makes you feel a bit ill. Not classic networking. You don't have to go to one of those groups, or do you? No, you do not. But what you do need to do is get yourself out into the world on a, how do you do that? You said social. Social. Socializing. I'm talking about what you talk about and being the queen of your business. Is this social or is this online? Just a bit of a click social. <laughs> okay. You know what this comes down to? When you are radiating your happy beautiful self, opportunities are drawn to you easily. Are you too focused on the work and not living the day-to-day -day fun stuff? I know you enjoy your work, Naomi. However, could you find some avenues of social where you can... Be your beautiful, radiant, independent, self-sufficient, happy in your own skin kind of girl. It's a reminder for all of us, we have to feel good. If we're in our happy zone, more good happiness comes our way. More good opportunities. I say this a lot, yet it's easy for us to get stuck in the hundred and a couple of weeks go by and we really have not lived out life according to what we're here for. We're just kind of on the road to get somewhere. Yeah, it's, so in answer to your question, do you need to just give it time? Or do you need to change direction? Do you need to change direction? No, no, you do not need to change direction. Simply give it time and be more radiant. Share your radiance out in the world. It feels not online, although I'm sure you can do online stuff as well. What you do, guys? Now, who are we talking to here? Oh, we'll just go back to Linda for a second. Pivot is definitely on the cards with the shop. Oh, cool. Cool. So she's already looking at a different angle for her business, which could enhance her income, and therefore she wouldn't have to sell her house. Amazing. Nope, can't guarantee the Airbnb income, but it's a start. Yeah, it's grasping a little bit because it's not secure. So that's the only thing I'd say. It's like, mm, you need something more secure because you don't need to be worrying about that on the side of everything else and all the extra dramas that can come with that sort of thing. We are going to wrap this up with one last card. I feel I've got everybody on here done. Susan, what area of life should I be giving my attention to now? Do you see this common denominator in the readings today? Where should I focus? What am I meant to be doing? Look at all these ideas. I can't think for myself. Not hassling you because, hey, I'm a human too. I do all the crazy stuff that we all do together. None of us are alone in our weirdo-isms, in our ways of thinking, in our not normalness. Who wants to be normal anyway? But we can use our heart more, which means just feel. This is hard for people. This is really hard because we have shut down those messages from within. We just have to get on and get on sometimes, but we don't. But that's what people act like they need to do. So let's talk about Susan. First of all, before we get into that, there is an obvious reminder here, guys, for everybody that's been choosing cards, you've seen the same thing. Feel. 
So it's easy when you think, I'm going to feel into my body, what do I need physically? We can answer that. I'm hungry, I'm busting, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. Get it? So it's easy when you know what you need physically. So just use that same modality to feel into the emotions of what you're feeling and what would help relieve those sensations that are discomforting or just not as amazing as you could. And if you're feeling amazing, appreciate feeling amazing. Love feeling amazing. Do something more amazing. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, what a card. What a card. What area do I need to be focusing on right now? Inner fulfillment. Hmm. There you go. Emotional fulfillment. Susan, emotional fulfillment. Start in the... Oh my God. That's what we're talking about with the feeling, right? Jeez, was that Susan's card or everyone's card? It's everyone's and Susan's. Hey, you saw it here first. You saw it happen. I didn't even make that up. Of course I didn't make it up. But sometimes it feels like it's like that, right? Because there's no coincidence in the flow of synchronicity. You know, you guys have been amazing. It's been a long one. We've got to get off. We've got to get off and wrap this up. We look forward to seeing you here next week. If any of you want to find out more info of the other services I offer, please go to my website, sirensoul.com. And I appreciate you so much. And I'd love it if you appreciated me too with a thumbs up if you're watching the YouTube. Or maybe a comment. Ask me a question for next week. We'll see you then. Sarah and Ciao for now. Bye, guys.